It's a long road Hey, I pulled off here with this little stock pond. I'm going to check out a profile. These are great little windows into these landforms. They're kind of at random. I never pass them up. So let's go check it out. It's going to be pretty cool. Four horses here to guide you. They head for the horizon. And the early clouds... Yeah, this is cool. I never pass up a chance to look at these stock ponds. Kind of at random on landforms. Throughout the Great Basin, you can see them from far away. You can see them on aerial photos. Usually, make sure I come check them out because they give us a little bit of a window. This one here, way at the southern end of Smith Creek Valley, almost into Ion Valley, right over there. We're about at the pass, but this gives me a little look here at soil formation on a really old landform. Um, this alluvial fan is old well above the modern process that's incised, a Holocene process really, last 10,000 years or so, has probably mostly been confined, little rivulets and then the big axial wash heading down to the Smith Creek Playa. But this has been sitting in place, weathering, developing a soil profile, developing a rind of organic and chemical interactions that alter and kind of mark, um, give us clues to the age of where the archeology span might be, where and how, if, if archaeology might be buried at all. Well, you can see a little bit of color variation through here. Some nice dark stripe on about the top, a little lighter structural, a little harder area in the like kind of gray middle zone. And then these kind of stripes of carbonate and schmears lining root uh, zones, down cracks and things like that. So this is a really mature soil profile. Um, we have an A horizon, the organic, the mixing, the things that are happening with uh, vegetation contributing their organics, critters moving in here, there's some cicada burrows and things like that along this profile. Um, and then we, as water percolates through the profile, we bring minerals out of the A horizon and deposit them and create structure in, of a B horizon. We get a little vertical cracking, we get really hard deposits. These are friable in hand sample in that part of that B horizon there, but over a long periods of time, carbonates start to form these linings, films, um, along root zones, again, along, along cracks. Here's a crack that has been has fallen away. You can see the smear of uh, carbonate behind it. Um, that takes a long time in an arid landscape such as the Great Basin. So this is marking a very old landform. I knew it was old just based on its landform position and things, but it's nice to get in here and look at the characteristics of that soil pro profile. Look at the A horizons, the organic. Look at the B horizons where you get long-term deposition of minerals and uh, uh, get structures developed and things like that. Um, Really fascinating. We can go over here to the other side and we can look at what a buried soil looks like because they've given us the pleasure of putting the back dirt on top of this soil profile, mimicking um, a change in landform structure. Say you have a sand dune that comes across your alluvial fan or something like that. We have that here in this north profile. Really cool, nice exposure. Again, don't pass up anytime somebody gives you a free profile to look at. It's really awesome.
All right, here I am. I'm just two or three meters from where we were just looking at on the other side of the trench. But this profile kind of shows us a buried soil, and it's buried by the back dirt spoils that they brought out when they excavated this trench. It's a young landform, maybe 15 years or whatever, whenever they dug this. It's, but it's an analog for a young landform that has, for some reason, buried an older landform. It caps a nice marker horizon nicely. This sat here stable for a long time before that dirt showed up up there. And this soil had time to form, was forming for a very long time. Remember we talked about the time it takes to get good BK horizon going. And this has a nice A again, the same as that over there. A nice A horizon, a little bit of B horizon, nice BK horizon. Um, and so I know I have a mature landform buried by a very young landform. It has no soil on it. It has no soil alteration. You don't see any of the horizon. You don't have an A. You don't have a B. You just have the parent material that has come out and been laid up there. So if I was an archaeologist, I'd want to know about things like that because my buried surface where my archaeology is, is marked by this long-term stability that when I see a buried A, B, B, K, I know I have a long time that this thing didn't do much, and then I have a young deposit on top of it. And that young deposit may be capping an archaeological record that I'm interested in in a certain location. So knowing that I have, or documenting buried soils is important for understanding where sites may be buried, how long sites, how long landforms may have been stable to have archaeological sites form on them. So people are moving around the landscape, working on a stable landform and putting sites down there and those sites may be well preserved under a very young deposit. So look for these marker horizons. Again, it's just like if it's forming at the surface. You might have an A horizon, a B horizon, a BK horizon. Um, so those are beautiful markers. Um, another nice thing is if I don't have an archaeological record that provides me material to radiocarbon date, like a hearth with charcoal or things like that, um, I can date the organics of this A horizon. I can date the organics. There tend to be, they're an average of all the biological processes that have been going on on the surface, but they ought to be all older than anything that was happening in this young deposit because once this thing caps it, most of that biology stops and um, it provides us a minimum age for this landform. Um, uh, it's nearly wouldn't be too useful right here because of the nature of the stock pond and the ancient landform, but I have used that many times in many places in Western North America to understand um, a minimum age for landform deposition. Um, very cool. Um, buried soils, fantastic, wonderful to see because they mark those zones where archaeology may be preserved. Um, so keep an eye out for them. Check out your stock ponds. Check out anytime you see a, somebody gives you a window into the past. Let's check it out. Awesome. All right, this stock pond is a reminder to take some time when you're traveling the Great Basin. Look at natural exposures, look at uh, excavations that, like stock ponds or anything else you see, like a pile of dirt. Go check it out because there could be a window there um, to get some practice in looking at profiles, um, and understanding where you are and why that profile on that particular landform looks the way it does. Don't pass them up, it's a great opportunity and uh, good practice. All right, you guys, keep going. See you next time. It's a long road